So in this example, we have x minus 4 divided by x plus 4. If you guys remember, the first thing we want to do is rewrite this as a division problem or a multiplication problem. Actually, you know what? To save myself a little bit of time, I'm also going to do a little factoring as well. So I re- ah, let's, never mind. Don't want to do further commute, further. Everybody follow me. You have to rewrite division problems as a multiplication problem. So you reciprocate your divisor. Now we have to factor. And what you guys notice is over here, I'm actually going to do this factor twice. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor the GCF out of this, where the GCF is x squared. So I have factor on x squared. I'm left with x squared plus 9x minus 10. Now I can factor that further into x minus x plus 10 times x minus 1. Okay, uh, My denominator, I can factor to x squared plus 6x minus 40. That gets factored into, did anybody get the answer? It would be x plus 10 and x minus 4. OK, so now let's just write in our factored forms. x minus 4 over x to the fourth times x squared times x plus 10 times x minus 1 all over x plus 10 times x minus 4. And I like writing everything out when it's factored. So therefore, now I can see that my x minus 4s divide out, my x plus 10s divide out, x squared divided by x to the fourth is going to leave me with an x squared in my denominator. So my final answer is x minus 2 over x squared, where x cannot equal a negative t um, up here. x cannot equal a 0. And what was originally in my denominator here, a negative 10 and a positive 1. Because those were what was originally in my denominator there. Does it make sense, Haley? OK, good. Does anybody want me to go over the first two? Or are you guys fairly familiar with the first two?